So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to another video. This is kind of a little mini series of React Native social logins. So we're going to discuss how you can implement various kinds of social logins in React Native. And just to note, these specific logins are for React Native 0.60 and above. And because of auto linking, which was introduced in 0.60, um, things might be a little bit different for you if you're doing it on a lower version. So just in case you want to know that. So beginning with um, Facebook on Android, what we have is we're going to make use of the official Facebook SDK. Now there are some unofficial repos as well on GitHub, but honestly, I don't find them uh, very maintained and as well as not very because they're not very official and popular. So yeah, I mean, if there's an official repo, then why not go with that? So first things first, what I want to do is obviously I hope you have a react native project set up and let me so yeah here we are with a fresh react native project it's running react native 0.60 and above i'm not really sure which version it is but it's 0.60.5 right so you're gonna need above 0.60 version to proceed here so once you do that what we need to do next is obviously we need to install the social um, react native fp sdk first of all so let's just do that real quick now see that if you're on React Native 60 plus, it says that CLI auto link feature will automatically link it. So we don't need to do anything here. We need to configure our project on Android, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the get started get like, get started doc from Facebook. And we're gonna see that we don't have a lot of things in here. We need to add, just add um, some things in our strings file. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna locate my strings.xml file right here and right here i'm just gonna paste this as facebook app id now obviously you can find your facebook app id by going to developers.facebook.com apps and if you have created a facebook app for yourself then you will gonna find it like this you have to enable facebook login and once you do that you're gonna get the app id if you don't have any app yet you can just go ahead and create a new facebook app from here so once we have the app id i'm just gonna go ahead and replace it right here Right, so once we have that, we could just go ahead and check um, the very first step as well. That is the build.cradle one. So let's just go and check whether these requirements are already satisfied or not. So right here, if we go to this build.cradle, we're going to see that we have Maven local, but not Maven central. So we could just go ahead and add this. And actually, we want this in the repository section of um, our build script. Then we also want um, the SDK implementation. So we're going to go ahead into our. So once we are here, we'll just go down to the dependencies part. And we're going to see that we have some stuff going on here. So we're going to not touch anything here except just adding this implementation, just like Facebook said, said so. Right, and we're gonna save it. So we have step one done, step two done. We also want the internet permission, which I'm pretty sure React Native just gives out of the box. So let's see. Um, yeah, so we already have this permission, so we don't need to add this. And finally, if you want, you can add some metadata. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and we have to place this inside the application. So there we are right okay so so far so good now once we have that we don't need anything else just make sure you have your um, all your login and stuff enabled in the Facebook app and once you do that we can just go back to our terminal and run react native run on run Android one more time all right so meanwhile it's installing let's just set up our JavaScript part so I'm just gonna get rid of um, stuff like which we are not using and uh, you would really want to just you know remove most of the stuff here but anyway I'm just gonna leave the headers and stuff and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this particular login button right here and I'm just gonna import the two things which we need from here as well so once we do that and let's just wait for it to build completely now and meanwhile we could just save all right so once it's built we're gonna see something like this and now if i tap on the login button 
we're going to see that the Facebook login pops up over and if you have an app installed then it will show you the um, the dialog box for an application. All right, so I just installed Facebook on this device. So let's see if I now press on login. We're going to see that we get a native Facebook login experience, right? So now it's different thing that we have not configured the hash correctly. So we're going to do that now. All right, so in order to fix this problem, what we need to do is add this hash to our allowed hashes here in the key hashes section of your basic section and settings of your application on Facebook. Now one way is obviously you can just copy this thing and paste it right here, but you can actually generate this hash as well using this particular command, right? So make sure you're inside your folder and we are, we are making use of key tool and uh, our, our key store is the Android app debug.keystore, which is um, this particular file right here. So this is the key store which Android uses to sign its application while in development. So we're gonna make use of that. So once you do that, hit enter, just enter your key store password as Android and you're gonna get pretty much the same string just like we saw in the application right here. So once we have that, just go ahead, paste it right here, hit save changes and you should be good to go. So back to the application now, if we just go back again and try to log in one more time, this time we're gonna see that we get the native and you could see nothing happened this time because um, we already only have the console statements and stuff like that so let's just start our debug js remotely let me just reload it because i think um, there was a connection drop so let's just do this one more time real quick so once we have that in place we're gonna see if i can just open the console right here Right, so now if I go ahead and inside my application, if I press log out, well, we logged out of Mehul Mohan and log in again. So this time we could see that we get all the nice little stuff we have. That is, if we take a look inside the code, what we should have technically is that on login finished, if there's an error, there should be a message like login has error or login has cancel, but um, we just got our access token back. So yeah, so now you could just go ahead and make use of your access token to do tons of stuff like getting names and email ad addresses of people and basically just using them to authenticate them. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Android path setup. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video.